Welcome everybody to Arbistar 2.0. I'm your host Crypto Bren and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to register with your exchange and get your APIs for Bittrex. I highly suggest you guys click on the star right there and save this website to your browser. If you are already registered with Bittrex International, go ahead and log in. If you're not logged in, you'll need to sign up. So start trading today. What you need is your email address, your password, and confirm your password. Click on sign up. Then I would highly suggest saving your email and your password to your browser. If you don't feel comfortable with that, go ahead and make sure that you save your email and your password on a hard piece of paper somewhere safe. Now, the email that you entered into your sign-up process, make sure you go into that email, click on to the Bittrex International, and you need to verify your email. Scroll down and click on the link below right there, international.bittrex.com. Verify your registration. It'll bring you to another tab here. Your email confirmation was successful. You need to return to log in. You need to log in with your email address and your password. Go ahead and click on login. You need to agree to the terms of service here, guys. Go ahead and accept the terms. Now you're going to be in my profile. So thank you for registering with Bittrex. To create your profile and enable identity verification, please complete the form below. Make sure you put in your date of birth, your month, your day, your year, your country, your street address, your apartment, and go ahead and register. Now you need to verify your identity here, guys. So click on I uh, verify your identity. Now you're going to start your identity. D verification. Start ID verification. Click a passport, identity card, or driver's license. You have an option to capture an image with your device or your camera, or you can upload a file from your device. You need to choose a file. Go to your files, upload your identity card, click continue, choose your other file, and you're going to do the back of your card. Confirm it. Now you need to upload an image of your face. Go ahead and click on upload. Click the image of the picture. Go ahead and smile bright for the camera and confirm. Checking image quality for ID verification. Please don't close your browser. This may take a moment. So your documents are being verified. It should take up to 10 minutes to process. Please reload the page to check your status. Now what you need to do is go to two-factor authentication here on the site settings, two-factor authentication. Now what you need to do is make sure that you have the Google Authenticator. This is the app logo, what it looks like on the App Store, or you can get it on Google Play. All right, so now the next thing you guys need to do is go to your Google Authenticator and you need to take a picture of this QR code. Once you've taken a picture of that code, what's going to happen is going to populate here a Bittrex Authenticator and you need to copy those six digits right there and you need to input your six digit authenticator code right there. So make sure you guys take a picture and save this security key right there, copy it and put it somewhere safe on a hard copy on a paper in your notes and so if you do lose your Google Authenticator on your app you'll be able to uh, back it up with that key right there okay so enable your two-factor authenticator and now you need to go to your email you need to verify the Bittrex two-factor authentication here in your email once you click on your email you need to scroll down and you need to click on the international bittrex.com link right there once you have done that, it's going to open up a new tab for you guys. And you're going to need to get your Authenticator app out again. Go to your Bittrex, get the fresh new numbers, and input your six-digit code. Now you can enable your two-factor authentication. Perfect. Now your two-factor authentication is enabled. Now you need to return to Bittrex Home. That completes registration, getting verified, and, and getting your two-factor authenticator enabled. Now we're going to step right in into getting your API keys. What you need to do next is click on your settings button up here in the top right corner. Once you've clicked the settings, you need to click on your API keys right there and you need to click on add new key. Once you have clicked on add new key, you need to enable the read info and trade button 
and you need to save. All right, once you have saved it, guys, you need to enter your authenticator code right here and verify it and confirm it. Once you have confirmed it, you need to save it, and what's gonna pop up is your API keys and your secret key. What you do need to do now is you need to log in into Arbistar 2.0, Go to your personal bot tab, scroll down and click on personal bot access. And now you need to click on your Bitrix and you need to enter your API key. You need to copy this to your clipboard, your API key. You need to go back to Arbistar. You then need to enter your API key in the field above. And now you need to go back to Bitrix, copy your secret key and enter it into the secret key tab into the Bitrix. Now you need to save it into the exchange. You should have a green check mark available. And then you need to click on your trading symbols. Populate those. Once you have done that, you need to go ahead and save it as well. You should have two green check marks. If you don't, then you did something wrong. And uh, go ahead and contact me or support, and they'll help you out the best they can, okay? So that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for coming on here for the tutorial for the Bitrix exchange, getting registered getting your two-factor authentication and getting verified and setting up your API keys.